Hi everyone, it's Miss Leo here. I'm just going to share a book with you today that you might find useful. It's called The Huge Bag of Worries. And I know lots of us are a bit worried at the moment, so I thought this book might help. It's by Virginia Ironside. Jenny had always been happy. She had a lovely mum and dad, a great brother, well, most of the time. She had a best friend at school and she liked her teacher. And then, of course, there was Loftus. Who do you think Loftus is? But recently she had been getting gloomier and gloomier. It wasn't just one thing. It was everything. She worried that she was getting too fat, that Loftus had fleas and that her best friend was going away. She worried that she was getting bad marks at school and she thought she heard someone whispering about her in the playground. She worried when her mum and dad had an argument. She even worried about wars and bombs until one day she woke to find a huge bag of worries. The bag followed her everywhere to school, to swimming, to the toilet. And it stuck by her even when she was watching TV. She tried ignoring it, but it didn't work. She tried throwing it away, but it always came back. She tried to lock it out, but when she got back to her bedroom, there it was, waiting for her. It was like a horrible shadow she couldn't get rid of. What could she do? Poor thing, I wonder, what do you think she could do? She asked her brother for help, but he was busy with his computer game. And all he said was, I don't know what you're talking about. I don't have any worries. After that, she didn't feel like asking anyone else. She knew she'd only feel stupid. Mum would probably say, you've got no worries that I can see. You're a lucky girl. You've got your health, your friends, your family. What more do you want? So she decided not to tell her. Dad might know what to do, but then she thought again. No, Dad had enough worries of his own. She couldn't ask him. Every day things got worse. The bag got bigger and bigger and bigger. She couldn't sleep because it kept tossing and turning beside her all night. Oh, I wonder if any of you have ever felt like that. To make matters worse, the bag dragged around her feet so much when she was walking to school that she was late and the teacher was cross. Jenny couldn't tell her what had happened and anyway she knew what she would say. You've got too many worries. In future, leave that bag at home. When Jenny told her best friend about the bag, she suggested that Jenny locked it up in a cupboard and tried not to think about it. That's what I'd do, she said. But it just didn't work. Came shooting back out again, look. Even Loftus couldn't help. He tried his best and barked like mad. But the bag stood its ground. One morning, Jenny woke up, got dressed and walked down the road. She'd had enough. The tears started rolling down her cheeks. She sat on a garden wall and put her head in her hands. She thought she'd have to live with the bag forever. I wonder if you can guess what's going to happen next. Then she heard a voice and looking up, she saw the kindly face of the old lady who lived next door. Goodness, said the old lady, what on earth is this huge bag of worries? Through her tears, Jenny explained how it had followed her for weeks and got bigger and bigger and just wouldn't go away. Now let's just open it up and see what's inside, said the old lady. But Jenny said she couldn't. If she opened the bag, the worries might jump out and who knew what might happen then? Nonsense, said the old lady firmly. There's nothing a worry hates more than being seen. If you have any worries, however small, 
The secret is to let them out slowly, one by one, and show them to someone else. They'll soon go away. So Jenny opened the bag. The lady sorted the worries into groups. Jenny was astonished to see how small they looked when they were out in the open. Sometimes our worries are only small. Half the worries disappeared because lots of worries just hate the light of day. As for the rest, the old lady put some of her shopping basket to deal with herself. Some she sent packing because she said they belonged to other people. These ones are mum and dad's worries. Some she just blew a kiss to. And some she said were worries that everyone had, even Jenny's family, her friends and her teacher. So when her brother said he didn't have any worries, I don't think he was telling the truth. And as for the bag, what's happened? It's just disappeared. And how does she look now? Now that she's shared her worries, she looks a lot happier, doesn't she? And there she is with Loftus. So that's the thing to remember from this story. If you've got anything you're worried about, make sure you talk to someone you really trust and they'll help you see that there's a way through. I hope you enjoyed that story, guys. Hopefully see you soon. Take care, everybody. Bye.